between Serial and the Netflix series Making a Murderer. Interest in picking apart criminal cases, that's high. It sure is, and today we learned of a local man just awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars after being wrongfully convicted of arson. Megan Hickey is live on 5 with in-depth details about the case. Megan, it all started with a mysterious arson. Right, in 1995, Jack Dempsey was convicted of aggravated arson, but a second trial more than a decade later would prove he was actually a victim. Court documents say then 35-year-old Jack Dempsey was drugged and left for dead, locked inside a burning building in 1995. But the story was so wild, it was very difficult to believe in that, the, unfortunately, all the key witnesses were not really interviewed. Dempsey was charged with arson and served six and a half years in prison. His lawyer tells me all the while maintaining his innocence. He never wavered in his belief of his own innocence. He never wavered that they weren't talking to the right people. Dempsey was released in 2003, but it wasn't until 2007 that a new trial found him not guilty. And it wasn't until Tuesday that his settlement was reached for $337,000. All I can say is it's better late than never. Dempsey joins the ranks of six other men in Cuyahoga County who were exonerated in just the last 15 months by the Ohio Innocence Project. News Channel 5 sat down with Ricky Jackson after his release. He served 39 years for a murder he didn't commit. I knew instantly that I had been given a second chance, you know. Now, Dempsey did not wish to be interviewed for our story. Dempsey's attorney told me cases like her clients show that there's often more than one side to every story. In Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5. All right, a photo of a Cincinnati